work it's a four-letter word to many people it's a dirty four-letter word I have always been fascinated by people's attitudes towards work far from being considered a necessary evil to an absolute joy it took a long time for me personally to appreciate any value in work other than of course the financial benefit that one might derive from it as a schoolboy the word work suggested to me something dull grey, monotonous, boring and conventional. In other words, something to be avoided at all costs. Only in recent years have I personally achieved any real sense of satisfaction from work, quite often from the most unexpected quarters. As I see it, there are basically four categories of work. Firstly, there is the situation where someone does exactly what they want to do and they are paid substantial sums of money for doing it. These people are in complete control. They control the production. Demand for their product is so great that they are financially strong enough not to have to consider any other activity other than that which they enjoy doing most. An example of this would be a successful original artist or perhaps a rock group. Secondly, we have someone who is particularly skilled in a certain field of their choice but does not actually initiate the activity. They are a highly competent person who is commissioned to produce something by another. They have a degree of control over the activity in which they are engaged but they are still reliant on clients providing them with work. An example of this would be a freelance journalist. Thirdly, work is made available and people take it on, not because they have any particular desire or calling to that activity, but simply because it will provide them with a living wage. An example of this would be me, opening up crates like this one and moving the contents somewhere else. Fourth, and finally, there is slavery. A person has no say in the work they do, and they are forced to do it under duress. They receive no payment, they are not free, and they are only kept alive in order to continue their work as slaves. Of all the categories, this is the one to be most avoided. An example of this would be an oars person on a Roman galley. Well, you know, as someone once said to me, we all have to do things we don't want to at some time or another. There may of course be situations where a person's employment is not easily categorised. For example, prostitution. Some prostitutes might consider themselves to be category two in control to a degree, but still reliant on the market, i.e. the punters. Whereas some make it to themselves to be category four, essentially slaves, especially if they have a drug habit and are controlled by a pimp. As I see it, each job has its own four degrees. The first degree is the degree of control that one has over how one works. The second degree is the degree of remuneration that one receives. The third degree is the degree of satisfaction derived from the work. And the fourth degree is the degree of real benefit to society as a result of the work being done. You know, as I grew up during the late 1960s, early 1970s, we were all told how life was going to greatly improve for everyone by the turn of the century, thanks to microchip technology. This was going to revolutionise our lives. Computers and robots were going to do away with all the drudgery, and by the year 2000, we'd only have to work two days a week. Hurrah! We cheered. Everything's going to be great. 
who anticipated spending the rest of their time developing their interests, doing more sport, making more art, creating beautiful public places full of trees and flowers where we could take exercise and philosophize and generally celebrate the fact that we were no longer wage slaves. We would at last reach a kind of nirvana with minimum work, maximum fulfillment. But we didn't. So what happened?